um, meeting Larry David. A great moment in my life, a great memory. And uh, you'll have seen by the thumbnail the picture. But I'm just going to tell you a little bit about it and how it came about. And uh, meeting Larry David, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, it's bad time. I'm just doing the Larry David video now. Yeah, just call back in a bit, yeah. Cheers, cheers. Bad timing. Um, yeah, so I met Larry David in California, 2017. I went to California in 2017 for VidCon. Uh, which turned out to be a bit of a waste of time because the only person that was there that I wanted to see was Limitless EXP who's one of the best real pranksters on YouTube apart from that there was no one really that I wanted to see I went there to meet um, frustrating because the year before VidCon 2016 um, everyone was there that I wanted to meet Andrew Hales Luke Donahue, Big Doors TV, Danny Duncan, Epic Five TV, all the big names, all the big real pranksters, you know what I mean? And uh, I couldn't make it in 2016, but I went in 2017, which like I say, turned out to be a huge waste of time. So, after VidCon was finished, I um, kept track on the internet because I heard that Curb Your Enthusiasm Season 9 was filming in California and was still filming at the time I was there, which was like June 2017. So I kept track on the internet of where they were filming and uh, yeah, I just. Once they kind of finished and I had those few spare days, I kept checking and it turns out they were filming Curb Your Enthusiasm Season 9 doing a reshoot. Uh, in Santa Monica, California on one of the days I had spare um, before I flew home. So once I saw it and saw that they were doing a reshoot in Santa Monica, I got in the lift and uh, dedicated the whole day to going there and trying to find them. Um, you know, Larry David's just an absolute comedy genius. Uh, Seinfeld was great, but if I'm being honest, I'm more of a fan of Kirby Enthusiasm. Um, it's just absolute genius. Um, and nobody knew at the end of season eight whether that would be the final thing, whether they'd finish them completely. Um, but yeah. Um, season 9 so I got in a lift and got down to Santa Monica and uh, just started asking people have you seen any filming trucks have you seen anyone filming and uh, I went down to the pier and started asking people down there and uh, no one really knew anything no one had seen any filming trucks anything like that but I kept asking people and um, when I was walking down the pier, I saw this guy selling fruit, like slicing watermelons and things like that, selling bananas. And just when I saw him, behind him, I saw uh, trailers and um, little places where they put food out to eat and that. So I thought, here we go. I could be in here. So I walked, and it was on the beach that. So I walked down there on, on the beach and uh, saw the big trailers and I've worked as an extra or a supporting artist uh, in TV in England um, for about eight years I did that so I know you know I know about how things work and the trailers and the you put the tea and coffee out and things like that so I knew it was uh, TV I knew it was something TV do you know what I mean so I went over there, went to the uh, trailer.
So I went down to the trailer and I looked on the door to see what the sheet of paper said, to see what it was, and it said Curb Your Enthusiasm. Now you've got to bear in mind that season eight of Curb Your Enthusiasm finished in 2011. I'm pretty sure it was. And this was 2017, so it hadn't been on the air for ages. And because they were filming season nine, obviously season nine hadn't been on TV yet. So there'd been no episodes, no new episodes of Kirby Enthusiasm for years. And the next minute I'm on where all the trailers are and uh, walking around. So, but there was no one there. Um, there was like, like one or two members of crew around. So I knew they must be somewhere else filming. So I had a little potter about and, uh, you know, just the things I did in England, being a, an extra for TV, uh, aren't exciting at all. You know, Hollyoaks, Coronation Street, and just these instantly forgettable dramas that no one cared about. I didn't care about, care about them when I was doing them. Um, so to be on a set of something that I absolutely love was great. And that was, that was, you know, to be on the set of Curb Your Enthusiasm and walk around when nobody knew if it was even ever going to come back after season eight was amazing. So eventually I got speaking to one of the drivers and everyone was a bit hush-hush with where uh, they were actually filming. Now, hold on, just let me check the camera. Everyone was a bit hush-hush with where exactly they were filming. But I had a good conversation with one of the drivers and he eventually told me they were filming at a restaurant just up the way there. So straight away I walked over. I didn't know, he didn't tell me exactly the name of the restaurant, but he told me the area. So I eventually saw people hovering about and you know, I'd, I'd worked on TV, so I know how it works as cast and crew pottering about. Little tea and coffee stations that they put out. Uh, so I, I, you know, I narrowed it down. I went down this little side street and I saw um, the crew. And uh, I turned around the corner and then I saw the actual restaurant they were filming in. And I uh, could see them all in there. Jeff Garland was in there, Larry David was in there. Um, those were the only two people on that particular scene, because like I say, it was a reshoot, so I don't think they brought everyone back for that scene. But Jeff and Larry were in there, and uh, instantly I'm just thinking, I've got, I've got to meet this guy, do you know what I mean? Absolutely love Larry David, one of the greatest comedians of all time. But I could see they were filming, so there was nothing I could do right there, and then I could see all the extras hovering around outside, so they were filming inside the restaurant. So I just thought I'm gonna go on the other side of the street, have my sandwich, have a drink of water and just wait. So I waited there, you know, just just, just waiting. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I had my sandwich and eventually Jeff came out on his own and just walked off. So I thought, well, it can't be long now, come on. And then uh, some of the extras were just still talking to each other and hovering around. And um, I'm just thinking, come on just waiting and waiting and waiting. And eventually, well, to be honest, Larry kept coming out of the restaurant now and again for like a couple of minutes just to just like take a breather before going back in. So obviously they were still filming. I had to wait until they'd absolutely stopped filming and then I was gonna go over and, and say hello, and do a stop and chat, you know? So, uh, so I'm waiting and waiting and Larry came out a few times, like I say, and then ended up going back in and all the crew were still there. So I knew they were still filming. Um, but eventually he came out with everyone. So I knew they'd finished filming. I go straight across the road. Larry's walking outside on the pavement. I'm on the pavement. I just go up to him and say, Larry, you're a genius. I absolutely love your comedy. Can I get a picture? And uh, everyone was sort of crowded around, you know what I mean? And uh, he said, yeah, we had the picture. And um, back then I had an iPhone 4S, you know, which was not the greatest camera. So I'm standing next to Larry with my phone 
And, um, you know, and I had a, you know, the iPhone 4S is an old camera now, isn't it? An old phone. So I'm holding the phone up like this. He's standing next to me and he's smiling and obviously I'm smiling. But I take like a bit of extra time to take the picture because I'm moving the camera around, the phone around. So I want the camera to settle. I don't want it to blur. So he's next to me and he, he is smiling and I'm smiling. But I just wait for a second, you know, I wait for a second before I take the picture. So when I actually took the picture, he wasn't smiling. I was. Um, but yeah, you know, what can you do? And then uh, I said what I wanted to say to Larry, I told him how much I love his comedy. And that was that. That was that. And I remember just walking away and I saw all the chairs out with like Curb Your Enthusiasm, you know those chairs that they have? Well, you know, uh, they were all just sat outside, the restaurant, all these, all these chairs, and on, on, it said Curb Your Enthusiasm on the chairs. And, uh, you know, absolutely amazing. I remember walking away just like, absolutely. Yeah, that was great. To get a picture with Larry David and to meet him and tell him that I love his comedy. Absolutely amazing. Uh, amazing memory. And, uh, yeah.